Bulbasaur! Bulbasaur! Hi, my name is Professor Silver, and you're watching Pokemon Explained, where we focus on the narrative arcs of all our favorite characters from the Pokemon anime. In today's class, we'll break down the complete history of Ash's Bulbasaur, detailing all its battles, storylines, and character development. Prior to its debut in Bulbasaur in the Hidden Village, Bulbasaur protected weak and injured Pokémon from trainers like Misty. Bulbasaur's defense of a wild Oddish so impressed Ash, he tried to catch it with Butterfree. Unfortunately for Ash, Bulbasaur proved itself a brilliant fighter by blowing away Sleep Powder, following up with Tackle, and escaping into the forest. Soon after the battle, Ash stumbled into the Hidden Village, met Melanie, the village's caretaker, and learned about Bulbasaur's role as the village's guardian angel. Bulbasaur's protective nature and distrust of humans made it demand Ash's immediate departure. Its attitude towards Ash only softened after he protected its friends from Team Rocket. Even though Melanie loved Bulbasaur and thought it the most loyal and brave Pokémon she had ever known, she encouraged it to join Ash so it could see the world and grow stronger. Bulbasaur accepted her request, but first demanded Ash confirm his battling ability. It nearly beat Pikachu with Tackle and Vine Whip, but got fried by Thunderbolt and caught before it recovered. Following its capture, Bulbasaur followed Ash's orders to defend the St. Anne and assisted as the ship sank, but grew suspicious of Ash's sincerity when it, Charmander, Squirtle, and Pikachu found themselves lost on the island of giant Pokémon. While stranded there, Bulbasaur theorized Ash had abandoned them, struck a bromance with Squirtle, and revealed a fear of its final form. Despite Bulbasaur's reservations towards Ash and self-proclaimed status as an orphan, after they reunited, it provided ample utility support and warmed to Ash as they bonded over their shared love of battle. Bulbasaur was pivotal against the Tentacool and Tentacruel army, but its powerhouse status faded as Charmander's star grew ever brighter. It barely left a scratch on Primeape, who Charmander later defeated, got taken down by Erika's Tangela while Charmander torched her Weeping Bell, and lost to a golem that Charmander set ablaze. In the Ninja Poka Showdown, Bulbasaur beat Aya's Venonat with Whirlwind, Vine Whip, and Leech Seed, but got upstaged by Charmander, who beat Gym Leader Koga's Golbat. Bulbasaur took down several Executor in March of the Executor, but Charmander outdid it by beating an entire army's worth and evolving. Charmeleon and later Charizard's disobedience to Ash ruined its friendship with Bulbasaur, but allowed Bulbasaur the opportunity to become one of Ash's primary battlers. Bulbasaur initially suffered severe setbacks in its new role, as it lost to Duplica's Ditto and Keith's Farfetch. That all changed after Bulbasaur tickled Misty's Psyduck into submission in Who Gets to Keep Togepi, and found its stride and emerged as a world-class fighter in Bulbasaur's mysterious garden. Opposite a hiker's Rhyhorn, Bulbasaur took massive damage from Takedown, but refused to settle for second best or return to its Pokeball. After triumphing with Razor Leaf and Vine Whip, Bulbasaur writhed in pain as its bull began to glow. Ash worried Bulbasaur was seriously hurt, but Nurse Joy eased his nerves by telling him Bulbasaur was merely ready to evolve. She claimed Bulbasaur would soon join others of its species at the Mysterious Garden, where Bulbasaur gathered annually to evolve in secrecy from both their trainers and the world at large. While it thrilled Ash to hear Bulbasaur would soon evolve, Bulbasaur despaired at the notion and confided its feelings with Pikachu. Pikachu empathized with Bulbasaur's desire to stay in its base form, but proved powerless to stop Bulbasaur's kin from kidnapping it. Rather than fight an unwinnable battle, Bulbasaur commanded Pikachu to return to the center and enlist Ash's help. Caring little for his own safety, Ash rushed to Bulbasaur's aid and snuck into the garden as he couldn't bear the thought of Bulbasaur in trouble. As the other Bulbasaur happily sang the song of their people and evolved into Ivysaur, Bulbasaur resisted the transformation. Bulbasaur's defiance put it at odds with both the Venusaur King and the rest of its brethren, as they all believed it had ruined their festival. Venusaur tried to punish Bulbasaur for its transgressions, but Ash revealed himself, leapt to its rescue, and defended it from the oversized bully. Ash's selflessness proved to Bulbasaur once and for all that he would always have its back. After Ash apologized to Bulbasaur for his brash celebration and explained that he loved it no matter its form, Team Rocket arrived and sucked up all the Ivysaur. They thought Bulbasaur too weak to steal, filling both it and Ash with rage. In defense of its honor, Bulbasaur collected the sun's energy, unleashed an insanely powerful solar beam, and freed the Ivysaur with Razor Leaf. Bulbasaur's heroism earned it both Venusaur's respect and approval to stay in its base form. From then on, Bulbasaur never again questioned Ash's loyalty or friendship. While it's never explained why Bulbasaur didn't evolve, three likely reasons include a distaste for its final form, its stubborn refusal to believe itself anything less than perfect, and a fear its personality would change just like Charizard's. During the Princess Festival, Bulbasaur further proved its strength by demolishing a Kingler, Pinsir, Cubo, and Raticating Graveler. Even though it then lost to Jesse's Lickitung in the Festival Finals, got crab-handled by Giovanni's Kingler, and trounced by Atoshi's Marowak, 
Bulbasaur decimated Raymond's Dawn fan with Solar Beam and fought its clone to a standstill in Mewtwo Strikes Back. In Make Room for Gloom, Bulbasaur took a break from training for the Indigo League, went a little loopy from Pokenip, found itself paralyzed by Stun Stum, got nursed to health by a lovely Gloom, and experienced the wonders of first love. During the league itself, Bulbasaur starred against Jeanette in the fourth round rumble. When fighting Beedrill, Bulbasaur dodged all its attacks, trapped it within Leech Seed, and won with Tackle. Opposite Scyther, Bulbasaur danced away from Slash, withstood Quick Attack, missed Vine Whip, and got frazzled by Double Team. Scyther seized its advantage with a volley of Slashes, but Bulbasaur triumphed with Vine Whip. Jeanette's last Pokemon, Bellsprout, absorbed Bulbasaur's attacks and won using a Judo-like throw. Muck defeated Bellsprout thereafter, but Ash lost the league in the next round as Charizard refused to battle Richie's Pikachu. Soon after the loss, Ash ventured to the Orange Islands where Bulbasaur helped him earn two badges. For the Sea Ruby badge in Naval Maneuvers, Bulbasaur built and raced a toboggan. And for the Spike Shell badge in Misty Meets Her Match, Bulbasaur passed an accuracy test and battled Rudy's Dancing Executor. During the battle, Bulbasaur missed Razor Leaf, withstood Egg Bomb, won with Sleep Powder, and saved its opponent from falling to its demise. In its other Orange Island adventures, Bulbasaur clobbered a regionally colored Butterfree, thwarted Team Rocket's evil schemes, lost to Snorlax, and got kidnapped by a large, lonely Bulbasaur who a town's jerk mayor had abandoned. Even though Ash loved Bulbasaur unconditionally, at Saga's end, his reconciliation with Charizard briefly returned Bulbasaur to its role as a jobber. In Enter the Dragonite, Bulbasaur's loss to Orange League champion Drake's Electabuzz allowed Charizard to both save the day and fight an incredible battle against Dragonite. Despite Bulbasaur's loss, Ash won anyway, received a trophy, and entered the Orange Islands Hall of Fame. Shortly after the Orange Cup concluded, Ash and the starters traveled to Johto where Bulbasaur provided utility support, fought off Team Rocket, beat off Pinsir, and whipped Heracross for sucking its nectar. Squirtle and Charizard departed early in the saga, so Bulbasaur received ample spotlight in their stead. It pained Bulbasaur to part with Squirtle, but its bond with Ash deepened tremendously as Ash relied more and more on its abilities. Besides early Saga losses to Lisa's Butterfree and Spell of the Unknown and Chikorita and Chikorita Rescue due to overconfidence, Bulbasaur primarily appeared as a huge threat. After beaming Misty's Poliwhirl into oblivion and winning Ash Totodile in the Totodile duel, Bulbasaur saved Old Man Kenzo from a rampaging Tauros. In two hits and a miss, it lassoed the Wild Bull and lulled it to sleep with sleep habits. Bulbasaur's fighter spirit, tenacity, and teamwork with Ash so amazed Kenzo, he asked Ash to replace him as Shihan of his fighting dojo. Rather than accept, Ash trained his granddaughter Chigusa for the position instead. During the two's training, Bulbasaur dodged all of Chigusa's Hitmontop's attacks, disrupted its balance, wrapped it within its vines, and won with Tackle. Bulbasaur's dominance continued in Ariados Amigos, where it rematched Aya's Venonat. Bulbasaur started with Vine Whip, landed Leech Seed, shrugged off Supersonic, jumped away from Tackle, and won with a Throwdown. Ash and Bulbasaur grew into such a powerful team that they only lost a Grass-type tournament in the Grass Route because of their own arrogance. They steamrolled a Gloom, Vileplume, Executor, and Disguise Meowth, but underestimated a Skiplume in the finals. Bulbasaur shot off Razor Leaf, deflected Leech Seed, and launched a barrage of Vine Whips, but fell to a surprise combo of Solar Beam and Tackle. About 30 episodes before the Johto League, Bulbasaur returned to Oak's lab, brokered a treaty between the lab's grass and water types, and stayed behind to keep the peace in Bulbasaur the Ambassador. Since Bulbasaur couldn't leave the lab for extended periods of time without inciting a riot, Ash kept Bulbasaur in Oak's care until it rejoined him for the Johto League in Taiwan On. Before its match began, Bulbasaur reunited with Squirtle, lost its temper in a schoolyard brawl, and scuffled with the Meganium owned by Ash's next opponent, Jackson. During the match itself, Bulbasaur first fought Jackson's shiny Magneton, who had already beaten both Pikachu and Cyndaquil. Bulbasaur dodged Thunderbolt, overcame Double Team, blocked Thunder Wave, hopped away from Tri-Attack, drained Magneton's energy, and spun it into submission. With Jackson down to his final Pokemon, Bulbasaur came face to face with its new rival. Meganium overpowered Razor Leaf and Vine Whip, but Bulbasaur speedily dodged Body Slam, retaliated with Razor Leaf, and dodged Vine Whip. Bulbasaur got hit midair, but still intercepted Body Slam, unleashed an epic backbreaker, tanked Razor Leaf, caught hold of Meganium's neck, and fired off Razor Leaf. Thereafter, Bulbasaur and Meganium stopped dodging each other's attacks as they wanted to prove their pride as grass types. Since a devastating exchange of Vine Whips left both Pokemon nearing exhaustion, they each launched a last ditch effort to win with Solar Beam. After the beams collided and the two exchanged sly smiles of respect, they fell in unison. Despite the tie, Ash advanced to the victory tournament where he eventually lost to Harrison. While Ash traveled in Hoenn, Bulbasaur resumed its diplomatic duties, became the undisputed leader of Ash's reserves, thwarted one of Butch and Cassidy's many schemes, taught a young trainer named Gilbert about compassion, 
single-handedly fended off a horde of primates and influenced Gilbert to choose a Bulbasaur as the starter. During the Hoenn Saga, Bulbasaur briefly rejoined Ash to mentor Maze Bulbasaur in Hokey Pokeballs. Before returning to the lab, Bulbasaur taught Maze Bulbasaur how to both live with humans and fight like a true warrior. After the Hoenn League concluded, Bulbasaur rallied the reserves, reunited with Ash, fought Team Rocket, and continued its mentorship of Maze Bulbasaur in the right place at the right mind. In gathering the Gang of Four, Ash recalled the starter squad for his battle with Frontier Brain Brandon so that he could go back to his roots and train with his four oldest Pokemon. Charizard started the battle, but surprised both Ash and viewers alike by falling to Dustclops. In Pace the Final Frontier, Bulbasaur finally emerged from Charizard's shadow and proved itself just as capable a fighter as its fully evolved brother. It tanked Dustclops' Shadow Punch and landed Razor Leaf, but got trapped by Mean Look, missed Vine Whip, and struck by another Shadow Punch. Bulbasaur replenished its energy with Leech Seed and blocked Will-O-Wisp, so Dustclops confused it with Confuse Ray, made it miss Fire Solar Beam, and pummeled it with Will-O-Wisp. Ash couldn't bear the sight of Bulbasaur whipping itself, so he reminded it of all the good times they shared together and brought it back to reality. With Ash forever in its corner, Bulbasaur won with Solar Beam and returned to its Pokeball. It returned to the battlefield to avenge Squirtle's loss to Solrock. Solrock forced Bulbasaur's moves against itself with confusion, but Bulbasaur dodged Shadow Ball, leached its energy, withstood Psy Wave, and produced a Solar Beam so lethal it forced a double knockout. Thanks to Bulbasaur's clearing the field, Pikachu entered the battle with Regice completely fresh, brought home the Brave symbol, and won Ash the Battle Frontier. Since the Battle Frontier's conclusion, Bulbasaur has served as an ambassador for all the Pokémon that live at Oak's lab. Even though it missed out on the Sinnoh League, Bulbasaur happily reunited with Ash in both Black and White and Sun and Moon. And now for Bulbasaur's battle record. Bulbasaur won against Misty Starmie, Ash's Butterfree, Wild Tentacool, Aya's Venonat, Wild Executor, a Hiker's Rhyhorn, a Kingler, a Pinsir, a Cubone, a Raticate, a Graveler, Raymond's Donphan, Jeanette's Beedrill, Jeanette's Scyther, an Orange Island's Butterfree, Rudy's Executor, Jesse's Arbok, Jesse's Lickitung, James's Weezing, James's Victory Bell, Misty's Poliwhirl, a Tauros, Chigusa's Hitmontop, a Gloom, a Vile Plume, another Executor, Meowth, Jackson's Magneton, Jesse's to Viper, James's Cacnea, and Brandon's Dustclops. It lost to Ash's Pikachu, the Giant Tentacruel, Erica's Tangela, a Biker's Golem, Jesse's Lickitung, Duplica's Ditto, Keith's Farfetch, Atoshi's Marowak, Jeanette's Bellsprout, Ash's Snorlax, Drake's Electabuzz, Ash's Chikorita, Lisa's Butterfree, and Ephraim's Kaploom. It tied against its clone, Jackson's Meganium, and Brandon's Solrock. Over the course of the series, Bulbasaur used Tackle, Vine Whip, Razor Leaf, Leech Seed, Sleep Powder, Takedown, Dig, and Solar Beam. Bulbasaur and Ash have such a powerful bond that their personalities are alike in almost every way. Both are bold, stubborn, altruistic, intolerant of injustice, and natural leaders that love to battle. Had Oak not needed Bulbasaur's help, I can't imagine Ash would have ever left it at the lab. While I'm sure Bulbasaur wishes it was still battling with Ash, fans can rest easy knowing that Ash will forever cherish the time spent with his oldest caught Pokemon. And with that, class is adjourned. I'll be back next week to cover a different character from the anime. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're never late to class. And for extra credit, like this video and let me know your thoughts on Ash's Bulbasaur. Until next time, catch you later.